Welcome to Chill Gate ESC lecture. We are in lecture number fifty-seven of EDC. Now this is the third module that is nothing but special diode. Now we are going to start a beautiful chapter that is nothing but tunnel diode. Tunnel diode. Now this tunnel diode video lecture will going to extended for three to four video lecture. Okay, where we will going to study about the negative resistance characteristics. The main main component, main requirement of tunnel diode is main main reason why tunnel diode is famous. is uh due to this due to his negative resistance characteristics so we'll get into the entire uh, analysis of this tunnel diode uh, beat by beat and in the microscopic view now let's start with what is a tunnel diode and how we are going to form this tunnel diode now why we call it as a tunnel tunnel diode because in this diode the carriers do tunnel tunnel through do do tunneling or they they the carriers move the carrier moves from one type to another type by tunneling through the depletion layer we'll get into the analysis of those things now look, look here carefully this is our normal diode this is our normal diode this is our normal diode is there any doubt in this case this is our normal diode is there any doubt no sir this is a normal diode now this is a depletion where this is a p type and this is n type now if we do doping if you if you increase the dopant concentration in p type and n type sir then that will converted to zener diode sir absolutely correct we have studied in our previous lecture no zener diode is nothing but if you increase the dopant concentration usse kya ho jayega sir the w chaired value the width uh, width width of the depletion layer width of the depletion layer will decreases decreases so w is greater than w z now if you increase this dopant concentration to high level now if you increase this dopant concentration to high level now you increase the acceptor impurity in p type you increase the donor impurity to in n type now the w w value the depletion width value will decreases more decreases more aur zyada decrease ho jayega aur zyada patla ho jayega depletion width by making it w T. This is T. Okay, this is T. W T. The depletion width of tunnel diode. This is nothing but tunnel diode. Sir, uh, tunnel diode me. Mm, uh, sir, the depletion width is very small than that of zener diode and normal diode. Ha ha ha. Tunnel diode depletion width is very small. So that is why. That is why carrier gets tunnel through this diffusion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The carriers get tunnel through this depletion layer. The carrier gets tunnel through this depletion layer. Now look here. Ye, th what is this, sir? Hill hai. What is this, sir? This is tunnel, sir. What is this, sir? Th th through this uh, line, our train used to move, sir, and it get into the tunnel of this hill, hill, sir. We 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 saw this, sir. Hmm. But here, consider this hill as your depletion layer with less width. The with less width. Look here. This is our depletion layer. Look here carefully. This is our lay, uh, depletion width. This this is our depletion layer. Having width is very small. Having width width with very small. Okay. Now electron. This is our n side. Okay. This is our n side, and the other side is our p side. This is your n side. Okay, this is your P side. Okay, understand? Now this is your tunnel. Now electron has to tunnel through. Electron has to tunnel. Electron has to tunnel through this diffuse. I'm sorry. Electron has to tunnel through this depletion layer from one side to P side, and hole has to tunnel through this depletion layer from P side to N side. Sir, why why this tunneling happens, sir? Even if even if if so, if we saw here, the carrier gets tunnel through the depletion layer. Carriers gets tunnel through this depletion layer. Even if the electric field, the influence of electric field is there, okay. Even if the influence of electric field is there, but that is not sufficient. to uh, stop the movement of electrons stop the movement of carriers because because of the width of this depletion layer because of width of this depletion layer this is very small very very small so it became easier for carrier to tunnel through this depletion layer from one side to other side now there there were there, there was two hypothesis where um uh where uh, 
proposed now, now we are going to read those two hypotheses this is very simple hypothesis now let's start with the first hypothesis which says due to which says due to narrow depletion layer electric field is very strong as my depletion layer is very narrow very small that is why electric field is very strong but the acting area is small that is what i was saying to you na the acting area the uh, inf influence of electric field uh, it never get get affected it never affects the electric field never affects the movement of carriers in the movement of carriers because the acting area the electric field acting area is very small that is why carrier makes their tunneling very easily so hence causing electron to escape from n side to p side across the pn junction causing tunneling current so the movement of tunneling of carriers will produce tunneling current now the second hypothesis were uh, proposed is listen to this carefully according to quantum mechanics electron is treated as wave electron is treated as wave electron is treated as wave according to quantum mechanics and the probability of existence of electron the probability of existence of electron indicated by psi square that means if psi square is not equals to zero that means there is a probability of finding electron is there that means there is electron is exist if there is a space it, if in this space your psi square is not equals to zero that means electron exist in this area got this point that means electron exists so the existence of electron indicated by psi square so for those electron which is having psi square not equals to zero will get tunneling through narrow depletion layer that means what those places if you make a graph which is a voltage and your uh, uh, length of the semiconductor and those places those places where your psi square is not equals to zero that means there is availability of electron that means this side this is your depletion layer okay this is your depletion layer now this side that means the availability of electron is there that means what we we got here psi square is not equals to zero that means the availability of electron is there that means what that means what that means what that means electron tunneled through this depletion layer now where we got psi square is equals to zero that means electron couldn't tunnel through this depletion layer this is a very simple hypothesis that was that that, that were proposed just just i i, I just went through it agar kahin pe statement uh wo, wo wala question hota hai na assertion region wala question if any anywhere this kind of question were asked you can easily answer these questions okay now moving to the last point of this lecture variation of depletion width which will going to summarize all the points that we have learned till now look here carefully if this is this is the depletion variation now the tunnel diode case this is our p type this is our n type for tunnel diode case our depletion width look here carefully look here carefully our depletion width depletion width is this much our tunnel diode case depletion width is this much now if you increase the depletion width now if you increase the depletion width it became look here carefully it became jener diode i have increased i have increased the depletion width we have increased the depletion width now look here carefully if you increase further more if you increase the depletion width further more that will nothing but normal diode that will be nothing but normal diode now if you increase the depletion width further if you increase the depletion width further if you increase the depletion width further look here look here if you increase the depletion width further that will be nothing but varactor diode that will be nothing but in the case of varactor diode now the variation of depletion width is like this uh, <laughs> this uh, i have made this to make you understand through colors okay thank you so much for watching this video lecture must watch our next three video lectures for this tunnel diode where we're going to analyze the movement of electron the tunneling phenomena of electron through uh, the fermi energy level diagram so see you in the next next lecture of tunnel diode till then bye